Hello. See you later, Senpai. Welcome home.
fancy meeting you. Senpai.
Hello. Yes. It feels like such a long time ago that we were here chasing after the Phantom Thief. It was an unforgettable case, full of rewards. I enjoyed it. What about you? Never give in, leader. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to give you something today. I uh, made this. Please accept it. I haven't crafted anything like this in some time. If I went back to the estate, I could have added a camera and transceiver. Oh, but it flashes. I made myself one to match. Now you're my assistant, senpai. Uh, you plan to challenge me? I'll show you who's boss. The title of detective became a burden to me. I thought I had no other aspects apart from detective self. But you and the others gave me a reason to be as neither adult nor man. So, I, I was able to face myself as myself. Before the detective, before the child, before the woman. By spending time with you all, I changed day by day. It frightened me before, 
But now, with everyone, with you, I can proudly proclaim that I am myself. Nothing more, but nothing less. This potential was still dormant within me. I wasn't considering the things that I should have. The people who care about me as well as my own self. When I'm with you, I feel fearless. Well then, let us begin. There's a lot you must learn before becoming a detective. I myself can't relent in my training to become a formidable woman detective. We'll start off with something that may come in handy before too long, shadowing a suspect. Sensei's home. Do it. 
This is so good. Yo! Yep. There's something I wanted to tell you. Somewhere deep down, I didn't trust you. No, it's more like I was jealous of you. I thought you were like me. Coming from the city to the countryside, I thought you'd be bored out of your mind here. But as soon as you got here, you called your persona, became our leader, gathered people. You're a hero. I like you for that, and I'm proud of you. But I guess I was jealous at the same time. You get jealous of people too? <laughs> I can't picture it. When I called you special, I thought some more about it. I think out of everyone, I wanted to be acknowledged by you the most. So, I want you to hit me. 
Give me a good one. Knock out all this crap inside of me. I want to be equal with you. I want us to stand shoulder to shoulder. So come on. Huh? But I don't have a reason to hit you. Uh, I got it now. If we're equal, then I guess you're right. Okay, here I come. Take your best shot. Oh, your punches are brutal. I was seeing stars there for a second. But thanks, man. I don't know how to say it, but that sure beat words. You can have this. If you start bleeding, put that on. You know, we should fight more often. Phew. The sky's so high up. Is Saki-senpai watching us? Is she smiling at us? Senpai, I'm going to live without lying to myself, without deceiving myself. Days like today, days like before when I did nothing, they're all important days. They're all days you didn't live to see. I'm going to live them here. Is this my power? Huh. I have been able to change a little then. The power to live without turning away from what you don't like. <laughs> you keep teaching me new things. It still hasn't really hit me that you'll be going away soon. But this time, I'll accept it and get on with my life. I promise. So we're all counting on you till then, partner. to leave. 
Senpai! Yeah! you to have this, senpai. Night. Sensei's home. 